ग्रीटिंग आई एम अनिल बोढ़े फ्रॉम पुणे इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ कंप्यूटर टेक्नोलॉजी पुणे वेलकम टू दिस फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन बेसिक इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग सो वॉट आई विल डू इज आई विल मेक द सीरीज ऑफ शॉर्ट लेक्चर सो डैट इट विल गिव अ क्लियर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ ऑल द कॉन्सेप्ट सो वी विल बिगन विद द एलिमेंट्री कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग एंड इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल कवर द इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल ऑनली सो वॉट इज इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल वी कंसिडर अ पॉजिटिवली चार्ज बॉडी वेन दिस बॉडी इज चार्ज वर्क इज डन इन चार्जिंग इट दिस वर्क डन इज स्टोर इन द बॉडी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ पोटेंशियल एनर्जी सो नाउ दिस बॉडी कैन अट्रैक्ट एन अपोजिट चार्ज बॉडी एंड कैन रिपेल अ सिमिलर चार्ज बॉडी दैट मीन्स द चार्ज बॉडी हैज एबिलिटी ऑफ डूइंग वर्क सो नाउ वी कैन डिफाइन द इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल इज द एबिलिटी ऑफ चार्ज बॉडी to do work the greater the cap capacity of charge body to do work the greater is it electric potential obviously the work done to charge a body to 1 coulomb will be a measure of its electric potential and mathematically it is expressed as electric potential v equal to work done over charge the work done is measured in joule and charge is measured in coulomb therefore the unit of electric potential is joule per coulomb or volt so what is 1 volt a body is said to have an electric potential of 1 volt if 1 joule of work is done to give it a charge of 1 coulomb thus when we say that a body has an electric potential of 7 volt it means that the 7 joule of work has been done to charge a body to 1 coulomb in other words every coulomb of charge possesses an energy of 7 joule now the potential difference the difference in the potential of two charged body is called the potential difference to understand it consider two charged body a having a potential of 10 volt and b having a having a potential of 7 volt means each coulomb of charge on body a has an emf of has an energy of 10 joule while each coulomb of charge on body b has an energy of 7 joule now it is clear that two body a and b have a different electric potential so there must be a potential difference exists between two body a and b and body a is at higher potential than the body b now if the two bodies a and b are joined through a conductor then electron will flow from body b to body a and the direction of conventional current is from body a to body b when two bodies attain the same potential the flow of current stop now the unit since the unit of electric potential is volt one can expect that unit of potential different difference will also be volt and 1 volt is defined as the potential difference between two point if 1 joule of work is done or released in transferring 1 coulomb of charge from one point to the other we will understand this definition using a electric network later in this lecture now we will take we take emf and potential difference so we actually studied the potential difference but now i would like to introduce emf and then 
differentiate both of them using an electric circuit. There is a distinct difference between EMF and potential difference. So first we consider the EMF. The EMF of a device, say a battery, is a measure of energy the battery gives to each coulomb of charge. Thus, if a battery supply a 7 joule of energy per coulomb, we say that it has an EMF of 7 volt. The energy given to each coulomb in a battery is due to the chemical action taking place in the cell. Now, if we define the potential difference to the same circuit, then the potential difference between two points, say A and B, is a measure of energy used by one coulomb in moving from A to B. Thus, if potential difference be between point A and B is 3.5 volt, it means that each coulomb will give up an energy of 3.5 joule in moving from A to B. Now, what exactly happened in this circuit is battery supply energy to each coulomb continuously. As each coulomb travel from positive terminal to the negative terminal of the battery. Then it do it give up its most of the energy to the resistance connected across it and remaining energy to the connecting wire. When the charge is reached to the negative terminal of the battery, then it has lost all its energy originally supplied by the battery. The battery now supply fresh energy to each coulomb to start the journey once again. And every time this fresh energy to each coulomb to start the journey is called an EMF. And the energy used by one coulomb in moving from any one point to the other point in the circuit is called the potential difference. So it is clear that there is a difference between the EMF and potential difference. Now, Indication of potential difference. There are two ways of indicating the potential difference on a diagram. First one is it can be indicated by a line with an arrow pointing toward the point whose voltage is higher than the other point. And the second one is it is indicated by a line with arrow at both end and plus s and minus sign at the end. Obviously, the first plus sign is indicated higher potential and minus sign is indicated lower potential. One important point to be noted here that the term voltage refers to a potential difference across two points. There is a no such thing as a voltage at one single point. In case where a single point is specified, some reference must be used as the other point. If nothing else is indicated, then the ground or common point in the circuit considered as the reference point for specifying a voltage at some other point. Now we take a numerical. How much work will be done by an electric energy source with a potential difference of 3 kV that delivered a current of 1 ampere for 1 minute? So given data is a potential difference of 3 kV means 3000 volt time 1 minute means 60 second and a current of 1 ampere. We know that 1 ampere of current represent charge transfer of 1 coulomb per second. Therefore, the total charge transfer Q for a given period is current times time. Current is 1 ampere, time is 60 second. So, total charge is 
60 coulomb so total work done w is given by q times v q is 60 coulomb v is 3000 volt so it will be give 180 kilojoule so 180 kilojoule of work will done by that electric source thank you